So hello to everyone. <clears throat> In today's video, we will understand how do we use calculator to find out uh, area under the curve in a normal distribution. So let's say uh, you have a normally distributed graph and you have to find, let's say for example, this particular area, all right? The one that I have shaded. Now on your calculator, on your calculator, you press shift and then, okay, let me reshare the screen. All right. So on your calculator, what you do is that you press shift and you press one. Above one, you see it is written start. Okay. All right. First, you will go to mode, press three for a start and then click AC. Once you do this, you will see start written on your calculator. Then you go shift and one. Now you have, uh, you have different options. You click on option number five, which is distributions. Then it asks you P, Q, R, D. Now P, Q and R, all three are relevant. Let's first use P. I press one. <clears throat> I have P. Now let's assume that the Z value over here is two and I have to find the area to the left side of Z is equals to two. So in the calculator, I will write two bracket close and equals two. So here you go. The answer is 0 0.97725. So what happens is that on your calculator, if you are using P and you write two, it will give you area to the left hand side of two area to the left hand side of Z is equals to two, which is 0 0.97725. Let's do one more thing. And uh, let's clear the screen AC. You see start written on top of it. You press shift and one. You go to distributions by clicking five. You then click two, which is Q. And now you write two bracket close is equals to, you get 0 0.97725. Q2 is equals to 0 0.47725. So what is Q? Q is the area. Q is the area which is between Z is equals to 0 and the input that you put in the calculator. Okay. Q is showing this area only. P shows the entire area. Now let's use the third thing. AC stat is written on top shift one. We go five into the distributions. We press three, which is R. We press two. We close the bracket is equals to this gives you 0 0.2275. Now R gives you area to the right side of the value that you input in the calculator. So effectively R is this particular region. Okay. So there are three things, P, Q, and R. P gives you area to the left, the entire area to the left-hand side of the value that you input into the calculator. Q gives you the area between Z0 and the input that you put in the calculator. And R gives you the area to the right side of the value that you have put into the calculator. Thank you so much.